Alright. There you are. Hello. Well, welcome back to the Midwest Sports Show. And I know where we are. One of my favorite places of all time. Uh, Progressive Field in Cleveland. Uh, right. We are. Where? In, I, in honor of uh, the All-Star Game. Yeah, where I found out you can get... Now, there's still a day left, and tickets are already dropped to two forty, two hundred and forty dollars That's not right. Cleveland, step well, up. Okay, who? first of all, who is paying $200 for an All-Star Game? I don't know. I... I think I, I I think I would. I mean, is the person eight years old? Y- yeah, I, I, don't, th- I don't think an eight year old that's two hundred dollars. Well, if they did, I, where did they get that from? When I went to the World Series Game Seven, I think I got probably one of the cheapest tickets because I waited till an hour before the game, but I paid twelve hundred at Progressive right. Field. Right. So so that's why you have a fond memory. Yes, and my budget was Field. my budget was unlimited. I was willing to go to uh, ten thousand, I think. And Gene, you didn't even need to see the sign. You just noticed from the uh, from the outside. That's how uh, yeah. That's how ingrained the image is burned. Into I still your soul. have my I still have my towel from Cleveland. It, they pass them out at Game Seven. I think it says "Rally Together." I have it framed with uh, the Cubs rally towel that night, and also the Dodgers rally towel, which I got I got when the Cubs played them. Yeah, they're all framed, and the one about, the Cubs use to beat the Giants. How too. about how about uh, if you're losing, uh, call in a rain out. How about that? Mm, yeah, call in some rain. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, pray, pray for minutes. rain. Oh, seventeen. That should be my favorite number because the rain delay was seventeen minutes, which I didn't yeah. really know at the time. It seemed endless because I was very uncomfortable. The Cubs were on the ropes. They were. were I, I now looking back. Because the Indians tied them in the bottom of the eighth, and then they had the the four, five, and six hitters in the bottom of the ninth, and I didn't even think about it. But the Chapman got him out of the ninth. He he gave up the three run homer, but in the bottom of the ninth, he got him out. So yeah, well, I'm sure this is exactly what people came here oh, to listen he, to. He is uh, my, yeah, the uh, 2000, 2016 16, Cubs World, World well, Series. Well, you'll have those memories maybe this year. But uh, maybe the Cubs fans will remember yeah. it. But Gene, we do have uh, a lot going on. Oh, okay. This week, uh, more baseball. Mm. Baseball does not stop, people. It's uh, it's year round. Okay. Uh, however, uh, it's the All Star break. Yeah. Right now, but that doesn't mean it doesn't uh, heat up. He, Baseball season doesn't right, heat up. Right, definitely this year, especially in the National League Central. Right. Yep. Is that exactly. What well, Gene, oh, it, there it, you are. It's interesting you uh, say that. Yeah. Because uh, Cincinnati, who you know, who split a series uh, with the Brewers uh, this past week, they're what three or four and a half games. Yeah, the they're first four place. and a half back. Uh, Cardinals are a game and a half back. Uh, Pirates are two and a half back. Um, and Gene, I did not realize this, but every other division. Yeah. Is at least six games yeah, between blowout. first and blowout. sixth place. Wow, yeah. super competitive. Yeah, Dodgers, else, right? Dodgers got to be. T- well, they they had kind of a rough weekend, but they're at least they're like twenty ten, games. Right? Yeah, they're ten Some crazy number like eleven that? games up. Yeah, a lot. So, uh, Gene, well, we made a bet on the Midwest Sports Show. Oh. Who, who knew that in two thousand nineteen? Mm. We picked the right division because uh, I'll tell you what the uh, AL AL uh, East yeah. podcast. What they're just gonna be talking about the Yankees and uh, right. Judge, yeah, and Stan all summer long, right? Boy, it sounds like fun. No, they're gonna be talking about a trip to London, right? Cheerio. Che- oh, okay. <laughs> Did you watch any of it? No, hell no. Uh, I I, I heard they were blowouts, so there was like eighteen. Cubs to are there next 14. year. Cubs Cardinals next year. Yep. All the uh, all the uh, California Angels, right. Anaheim Angels podcast. Yeah. Ha- have fun listening to those shows. Yeah. This summer. What, what about? A lot, lot of trout talk. A lot, lot of trout's the what, best. What you, OPS. Trout. Yeah. Yeah. What do you talk about if you're uh, the Baltimore Orioles podcast? Yeah. Uh, you lament. Well, you probably you curse out Manny Machado every chance you oh get. Oh, my right? God. That contract. I'm, I'm glad the Cubs <laughs> got no part of it. That one in Bryce Harper. We got our own problem. By the way, Manny Machado, uh, he, apparently he loved the West Coast. Did not like the uh, actual uh, pressure to perform on the big stage so. of L.A. Right. I kind of figured this out. Yeah. Well, look at look at he's having a decent year, actually, but no all-star love. Same thing with Bryce Harper. The, you go to San Diego, uh, you're, 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 you're a forgotten man. Yeah, might as well retire. Yeah. Might as well be in uh, right. Tampa. Right. 
Yep. All right. Well, Gene, we have a uh, lot to talk about. Okay. Uh, I got some baseball. I got some NFL news, Gene. Oh, nice. NFL news. And uh, we're going to go over all the uh, hoops free agency. Mm. Now, Gene texted me on uh, Saturday night saying we need to do an emergency <laughs> uh, yeah. podcast. We got we to gotta do it quick. Before. We got to beat Bill Simmons to it. Good Lord. I mean, yeah. I, I would like to see the numbers of the podcast, like, within the first hour. Like, uh, it, does everyone just download that thing right away? Yeah. Or and, and, uh, is it all in his mind? I mean, I, all... I, the, <laughs> I don't know. Because he pays engineers and yeah. people to sit. So is this yeah. all just an egotistical uh, Bill Simmons yeah. project and, for him to talk basketball with yeah. uh, other national writers? Right. Who didn't know anything? Jalen Rose, Man, 99% that, positive that, his it's, inside source is 99 percent. that's a lot 99 percent. if you do that well in anything you're you're pretty far up there 99 percent that Kawhi is going to stay in toronto good job does, does hbo uh are, are they looking at the download numbers on these podcasts <laughs> i'm like why are we spending a thirty thousand dollars on each uh yeah. emergency podcast uh, bill he has a lot of do we need though. to do that yeah all right well, uh, all right, Gene, and uh, well, let's for, let, let's start off, Gene. Mm. It was uh, the July Fourth week? Oh, the hot dog eating contest but, too, fantastic! I'll tell you what, the real fireworks. Oh, Cubbies! Joe? We're in where? Where was this? Was this, it, was, was this it got Philly? very feisty. Was that it was the in Mets? Pittsburgh. Oh, no, Pittsburgh. that was Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah. But the real fireworks were at PNC Field. Yeah. And uh, Gene, kind of explain to me uh, what happened. Basically, I think. Uh, wow, it was ugly. Cubs blew a couple games, but the uh, the game the game that Joe Madden got tossed out of, they were throwing they threw it way upstairs at, at a bunch of players. I mean, oh, they did they, did they like hit hit a yeah, bunch of people? Yeah, then they the thing that got went went really bad. David Bodie got hit in the head in the helmet, and they're like, okay. Enough, and that's when Joe Man just flipped out. And I think he was—he uh, was—he wasn't flipping out at the umpire. He was flipping out at uh, Clint Hurdle. Oh my gosh, Clint Hurdle! Thank goodness he's not your manager. I tell you what, Clint manager. Hurdle is uh, pretty good because uh, you know they, they got Josh Bell over there who was a monster. But yeah. well, and I guess he they got Cyril and Marte as well. He really—that had to be one of the all-time best series anybody's ever had. What he did to the Cubs, he had yeah, he he, he schooled them. Runs, or, it was just ugly. He ate them like a uh, yeah. Papa Bear. Yeah, killing another he Papa uh, Bear does for <laughs> sure. Yeah. Ate you alive, and yeah. uh, he'll probably. I mean, if uh, he'll probably, he may slow. I mean, is he a rookie, by the way? Or is no, his... he's been in. He's been in probably three or four years. All right, but he... this is he just went from okay, whatever, to just totally exploding. So Mike, so or what's the guy? Uh, former Cubs uh, pitching coach. Uh, who's that guy? Mm, the guy fired. No, no, the uh, the guy that he got fired a, a couple of weeks, couple, oh. couple, couple years ago. Oh, for calling someone a spider monkey oh, or like yeah, a monkey guy. Who was it? Yeah, yeah, no, I know. He I thinks know. that uh maybe right, it's a little right. suspicious that Josh Bell is yeah, uh, having a great right. year. Yeah. But Josh Bell would probably be the MVP if it wasn't for Yelich, I'm going right, to I'm going right, to say. Right, right. Yeah. So I would uh He's go for he's that. pretty amazing. He's got the Cubs to thank. All right. So Joe Madden got thrown out on July 4th. Wow. On July 4th. Wow. Wow. Hi. Hey. A uh, great example oh, for I'm the kids. I'm trying to say hello to people while you're talking. Could you turn your conversation to JT? Hello, JT. All right. Know. Okay. And uh, and Gene, you know, and cousin David I was uh, on Friday. Yes. I was trying to look up the uh, the Cubs score. How'd that go? Oh, the Cubs. And oh, I I must have went up that's and down. Amazing. The Cubs. The Cubs didn't play on Friday. The I Cubs went, White I, Sox. I went up and down the MLB app. Yeah. I'm like, where are the Cubs? I do not understand this. Amazing. Where are the Cubs? Yeah. They did not play on Friday, Gene. I don't know how that's possible. Well, they're going to give up a Friday game for what, what, I, for they, travel reasons? No, they were in Chicago. I don't know. I mean, they, they, MLB. Didn't, they didn't play that night, right? No. I mean, they didn't play uh, they July 4th night. They played Thursday afternoon. What a, what a joke. What yeah. a disaster. They, right? was, there, was there a rain good. delay, Gene? No. Is that the reason why? No. <laughs> Another one of those Cubs rain delays. I I think that, it probably helped the Cubs. Maybe they might have gained uh, half a game that day. They, I don't know if the Brewers lost on Friday, but yeah, I don't remember. Okay, it's uh, sad, sad news. It's very sad. All right, so another kind of weird thing. Ah, Cubs. They're right. struggling. You know, they're twenty-two and twenty-eight over the last fifty, and they're somehow managed to be in first place. That's not right. Well, 
And well, the road woes. Road woes. You go on the road, you prove you're a warrior. That's where you win. That's where you win championships. And the Cubs are, I think, 12 games under on the road. Not good. Not yep. good. All right. Well, Gene, we got more and Reds. And Darvish has only won two games this year. And he won one last year. And they're paying him $120 million. Yep. Not good, you. Yep. Okay. Well, let me know when he breaks 10. All right. I don't think he's going to get well, there. Hey, I guess wins are overrated, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> How about strikeouts? How about walks? How about runs? Yeah. Well, he's right. not doing well in any of them. Well, Gene, let's stick with the NL Central. Okay. And we're talking about the Cincinnati Reds. They're tough. And, Gene, I, I, uh, well, first of all, they played sleeveless the other day. I saw that. Yeah, so quick. Uh, Guns out. Sh- showing off some uh, beefcake. I, I could do that. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, Gene, I was uh, looking forward to some, like, uh, yeah, oh, flabby dear. arms yeah. like yours. <laughs> Hey, I haven't made debut. Tattoo. But I'll tell you what, Gene, this isn't uh, 1974 anymore. These guys, all these guys are like ripped. Yeah, they really are pretty amazing. Puig, I mean, he looks like a freaking bodybuilder. It for would God's it'd be neat to see CC Sabathia do that, but I don't think the Reds, all their guys are. Yeah, I think they are. No, they're all pretty much ripped, as yeah. far as I, as far as I saw. So uh, I'm glad a lot of them shaved their uh, shaved their shoulders too. So uh, that's good. That's a key. That was a uh, yeah, definitely needed. And then Puig, Gene, I hate how we always have to talk about Puig every week, oh but uh, he was he, he always has antics. He's up to no good. He always has antics, time. and he's good he's, content. He's talk. always plotting on things to do that pisses off society. Puig. Well, well he beat the uh, Milwaukee Brewers. Oh, he did. Got a yeah. single, and then uh, someone hit a uh, double, and Yelich threw the ball in. Puig was at third, and then Thames fumbled the ball. And then Puig uh, dashed in for the uh, game-winning run. It was in uh, extra innings, and they're at home. And uh, you know, this is after uh, what, what's the, the Cubbies guy? Cubbies thug? What's that guy's name? <laughs> Strope. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Strope so. called him stupid. Yeah. Effing uh, stupid. F- 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 wow, you cleaned it up. Effing F- stupid? stupid. Everyone uh, knows he's stupid. That's, that yeah. was his quote. Well, Everybody P- knows he's stupid. Puig followed up some stupid things you do in baseball: work for myself and work for the team. So there you go, Strope. Yeah. So Strope, can you put your hat on? Oh my god. Correctly. Gosh. How yeah. about that? Uh, yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. And then Gene, we'll just talk about the Brewers really quick. Uh, they, they Yelich. Just too. Right? Yeah. Well, Which, it's a tough division. It, it's, is. Uh, it seems like everyone's beat up. Well, and that's tired. what everyone says. Is it a good division or a bad division? But teams seem pretty good, don't they? Yeah, they're all pretty, except for the pitching. For the well, well, everyone's trying to win. Yeah, Let's just say that. And and also, there's no Baltimore Orioles in the division, or uh, who else is really, you know, some of those terrible teams that you or the Mets. Ugh. Yeah, exactly. Stuff like that. All right. Well, uh, Yelich, who is not participating in the home run derby because of a bad back, he will be playing in the game, the All Star game. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. Uh. Well, he uh, there's a little bit of an incident. They played in Pittsburgh. This Did past not know weekend. that he seems like he wouldn't get involved with anything bad. Well, he was uh, having a little bit of a slump. Okay. And he was doing some batting practice before the game, and uh, one of the balls he hit out of the stadium into the Allegheny yeah. River, right, and uh, broke someone's window in the boat. Oh, on the boat. Wow. Uh, Did he immediately go out there well, and 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 fix it for him? Or someone called the cops to report a broken window on a boat in the Allegheny River. Wow! No charge, no charges were filed, and Yelch was not made to walk the plank. <laughs> All right, that's not my joke. That's just a uh, oh, okay, a pirate joke. Gene, I that's some some pirates beat writer oh, okay. joke. Well, they're very clever there. Well, Gene, part. I I wonder what that nine one one phone call. Right. Sounded like. Oh, okay. Hello. In fact, I think it may have sounded something like this. All righty. I'm so, Gene, you be the uh, 911 yeah. operator. Oh, hello. This is 911. How, how may I assist you today? Hopefully you're not in dire straits because we don't like to hear this around the 4th of July celebration. Is this is this William Shatner? <laughs> is this Captain no, Kirk? No, this is this is your. No, no, no. This, right. Yeah, nine one one. Is this nine one one? Yes, it's nine one one. Uh, yeah, I like to. Uh, so someone threw a rock through my window. Stay calm. That's you have to stay calm. Where where are you located, sir? 
I'm uh, I'm on the Allegheny River. All right, now I think Allegheny. someone threw a, a someone threw a rock. Yeah, someone threw a rock. We were just uh, boating on here, having our uh, you know ha- having a couple cigarettes. All right. Having the boat, I got I got the missus sunbathing out front. Are you sure it wasn't a fish? And someone that jumped through your someone room? threw a, a, no? a rock through a my rock. window, Gene. Oh, okay, you're I, very I, well, Gene, I don't know your name is Gene, but uh, <laughs> well, you can and, call me whatever uh, you want. I, I'm pretty the key, sir. Stay calm. I'm pretty don't sure. Panic. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it was they were black. Pretty what? sure it was a black guy. Oh, how how would you know that, sir? Now, well, who? Where where are you from? Where are you from? I'm I'm originally from uh, J- Jamestown, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay, then you wouldn't know. Okay, I see. Then you wouldn't know. Right, right. All right. So, anyways, uh, yeah. Can you send some cops over here? Yeah, yeah. I'm from In scuba uh, gear. I guess Are they gotta swim out to you, or where are you gonna be? You gotta ask more questions. Oh, about- oh, yeah. What? How do you? Have you seen anybody? Uh, has are you? Is somebody out after you? Do you suspect anybody? Well, I I saw again. They're black. I see. I saw a bunch I of black think guys. Established that. I don't. I saw a bunch of black guys in, in in white uniforms. Oh wow! Mm. In white uniforms. Yep. Right. Right. Yeah. I, I think they're in a gang. Okay. Was there any distinctive marking on the, the white uniforms? There, there's a good question yeah. that came up. Yeah. Me. There you yeah. go. Yes, and yes. <laughs> what? What? You know what? I think you're right. I, yeah. I mean, again, I, you know, I, 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 I couldn't really see very well because right, it happened right. so fast. Yeah. But first of all, I'm sure they're black. Okay. And I then uh, I think that. they may uh, had a like it's a, a disturbing like a sir, uh, picture of a guy black, but... with a beard and oh, and an okay. a eye patch. Ah, an eye patch and and black. Was he wearing a bandana? Yeah, they're all wearing bandanas. Oh, I, th- I, I think see. they're Crips. Wow. I, 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 did the Crips do that? Or yeah. the Bloods do that? I think they both might. Yeah, in their different. So listen, colors. are you are you sending? Yes, be, we, they're already gonna, on their way. We're out to the refuel here. Team, you just stay there. Uh, don't do anything drastic. The help is on the way. All right. Okay, I'm gonna do some blow now. Uh, wow. Really? Okay, click. Oh, nice. All right. So, uh, you know, the whole conceit there mm-hmm. is that someone who's in the Allegheny River, uh, probably racist, right? I don't probably rich, white, and racist. Yeah, I should have set that up in the beginning. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't. Okay. Unless they're the McCutcheons, I don't know. You, maybe you, that. Yeah, McCovey Bay. That's in San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, isn't the Allegheny with well three? It's the three rivers. It's one yeah, of the three Ohio rivers. Ohio right? River, Allegheny, and, and the Kentucky. I don't know. When yeah, I don't know. Is. I've been in Pittsburgh. That's Dave Damachek. Oh, That's right. Yeah, yeah. All right. So there you go. That's the uh, wow. I'm glad baseball they beat. Got that figured baseball out. beat. Yep. I'm sure it went exactly like that. Yeah. Pittsburgh's good though. You gotta right. give them credit. They're very good. Oh, and then uh, you know, while we're talking about the Brewers, really quick, uh, I don't know if you saw this, but uh, uh, Orlando Arcia, the uh, shortstop mm-hmm. from the uh, Milwaukee Brewers, was in a violent collision with Kirsten Her- Herrera, and uh, looked pretty bad. Yeah, not as bad the one yesterday. But the he one ended up with, uh, playing. Well, the, Jonathan Lucroy, a former oh Brewer. Oh, my gosh. That, that looked was, really bad. That was terrible. That that guy that hit ran into him, what the hell, dude? <laughs> that's your, that's he, your he hit him on the side of his head, and his oh. head went backwards. He like, couldn't, yeah, he couldn't hit him any worse. That should be a lifetime suspension, shouldn't yeah. it? Mm. Ah, not a lifetime. Well, I mean. all right. Uh, Definitely should sus- two, suspend him for a week. Oh, because, I mean, there's no reason for that, right? I mean, no, you should be able not, to no, run into no. the guy. Yeah. Uh, okay, 30 games. The guy's defenseless, right? Why are you being, running into the guy? Being compassionate. Never. And they gave him the run, too. Oh, Because he did? dropped the ball, right? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I guess you can cuss the guy who drops the ball. I guess that's yeah, a... Yeah, carried him off and stretch him. No, terrible. You, you can't run into someone's no, ankle, but you can concuss no. the catcher? Mm-mm. Yeah, that's inappropriate. All right. All right, that. and then, Gene. Yes? Disturbing uh, story. Oh boy! Out of uh, the world of Nike and other endorsement oh, deals, the Betsy Ross shoes. The Nike uh, had a bunch of shoes, and uh, and one of them was a Betsy Ross flag, which I guess is one of the original flags, yeah. right? Yeah, I don't did and, that, and that. I don't know how this happened. Did they present these to Kaepernick, or they were trying to sell these to the yeah. world, and then Kaepernick told them to take it down or something? Or he, I, he must be pretty powerful. Said, no. How did this did. come out? I don't but know. didn't the union? What I read, the union. The North, that's a flag that carried, didn't they, when they... 
When well, that was the flag the of the 13 colonies. Yeah. When they right? liberated the but, or they liberated slaves. And people may uh-huh. say, well, you know, it's a bunch of slave colonies and all that stuff. Well, Betsy Ross was a Quaker. Oh, right. And Quakers yeah. were anti-slavery. Uh, They're abolitionists. So, yeah. uh yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, what, what's up, Cap? I mean, sh- should we have a picture of uh, Che Guevara <laughs> on there? How about his flag? His flag who, is drenched in blood. All right, how about that? One? Who? I, I'm not. Listen, I, I don't think uh, Colin Kaepernick should be telling anyone about like history. Yeah. And uh, any of that. Once you wear a Che Guevara shirt, your I, I think your opinions are invalid. Or uh, on uh, any uh, history. Fidel Castro shirt. Yeah. What? Well, he wore a Che Guevara. Oh, okay. Right. So. I know I wore a Castro. Okay. All right. Did he wear a castle? Yeah, yeah was... at a press conference when he was still All playing. Right. There you go. Yeah. All right. For those of you who don't know, both those guys killed thousands of people. Oh. So uh, that would, and... those that don't know, that would be me. Yeah, they freed they freed they freed all the Cubans from the uh, from Batista, but then they enslaved them under their own uh, communist so regime. So there you go. They Nike shouldn't have folded on this one. Well, how did this even get like announced? I mean, like, I did know. they did this get leaked yeah. or something like that? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I guess, I mean, I guess if you're oh, and then, by the way, Nike is uh, actually also pulling out designs from China as well, American designs from China. So there you go. I mean, what goes Nike, on in China Nike obviously does. I mean, we, listen, we don't, we shouldn't have to expect a corporation, right, to do the best thing, but uh, maybe just not given the choice at all. Yeah. I don't know why are we doing all these flags, right? Right. right. All right. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> All, right, there you go. All right, then uh, here's another controversial uh, news story: is uh, Matt Nagy? How's he doing? Throwing out the first pitch at the oh, White at Sox the White game Sox. on Wednesday. Yes, I did see that. Now this is uh, after uh, Mitch Trubisky did the same thing not so many weeks ago. Yeah, where's the Cubs love? And then you're Gina, dividing the city. The I ba- I asked you this: Why? Does anyone like the White Sox in Chicago? I mean, what, I don't, do they know what city they're in? I I don't know why they end up at White Sox games. I'm sure the Cubs would invite them. Is I, Soldier Field he's near? He's got a good arm, though. That's Kaminsky, sure. whatever. Uh, it's progress. No, it's guaranteed rate field. It's, it's regressive field. Guaranteed rate. They they have yeah the guaranteed rate with the arrow down. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, what else we got here? Uh, oh yeah, then here we go. Some sad news. Oh, some sad news. What happened? Mm. Uh, well, I got happy news. I'm seeing Tony Bennett this week. Ninety-two years old. First Jared time Jared Lorenzen. Oh, that guy who was the heaviest quarterback in the NFL yeah. was jokingly referred to as the hefty lefty. Oh my gosh! Uh, died. Uh, was, this past weekend, only 38. 38. That's God, he, mm. he's. I think he was on. I, I think he was on the Biggest Loser, wasn't he? He was the heaviest quarterback in the NFL, and uh, he weighed as many as 500 pounds. Wow, and that's amazing. For because I remember when he played at Kentucky, he was really good at. Kentucky. I remember seeing him like flipping through the channels and seeing him play, and the guy was bi- the guy was the biggest player on the field. He was bigger than the linebackers and all that yeah. stuff. Huge. And uh, of course, he was with the Giants, and he won a Super Bowl with the Giants. And there was a story about how uh, he kind of helped Eli Manning because mm-hmm. uh, he backed Eli Manning and basically helped, uh, you know, would do these drills where Eli Manning would be dancing around in the pocket and Lorenzen would try to grab the ball or try to oh, knock the ball loose. Wow. And there's some footage of it, and it looks very reminiscent of uh, Eli Manning in that one Super Bowl where he threw that ball to Tyree with all those um, defenders wow. on his jersey and all that stuff. Yeah. So uh, Eli Manning credits some of that to uh, Lorenzen's, uh, what do you call it, practice yeah. uh, scrimmages and moves and all that stuff. So, uh yeah, he's uh, – football is probably the only thing that kept him in shape, right? I mean, I'm guessing yeah. he wasn't even really that in shape. So yeah. uh, pretty, he was pretty sad. too. Yeah, yeah. Played at Kentucky, so. Yep, that's the Midwest. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll say right now. Right next uh, to Cincinnati. Yep, across the river. Yeah, I, where I stayed. Uh, I can't remember the town, but there's a bridge that crosses Cincinnati into Kentucky. So very beautiful back there. All right, and now the 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 segment everyone's waiting for. Oh, the hoops, free season, or Man, free it's been agent tough. season. I think the Bucks. It's been tough on them because 
They didn't get their other big superstar, well, right? They didn't get Anthony Davis? No, and they lost some guys. Well, right. the big news is uh, Anthony Davis went to the Lakers, and then uh, Kawhi Leonard went to the Clippers. Right, right. So uh, who knows what's going to happen uh, in that. LeBron is LeBron. I mean, are the Lakers are going to be good. I don't think so. God, man, what if LeBron never makes it to the playoffs again? Yeah, I think they'll make – well, they should be able to make the playoffs. But, boy, all these teams, Lakers and the Clippers – and uh, I don't know other team. They're just more. Their future. They're that's the same thing with California. We're like we'll get wiped out by an earthquake anyway. Why worry about all this other stuff? Mm-hmm. By the way, Gene, what were you doing? I was home during the earthquake. I, did you know? I, did you experience it? Oh yeah, it? the first one, July fourth. Did I you go, feel that one? I did yes, not feel that I one. I did. I did, and it was pretty short. I go, oh, there we go. That's the earthquake. Then the next day, it just kept going on for a while, it, and I was like, oh my gosh. It felt and, like thirty seconds. Yeah, but it was probably like ten seconds. Yeah, or I was. Like I was uh, getting my escape plan together, and it wasn't very strong, but it just is one of those things where it's definitely moving, and you never know if it's going to get stronger or not. And what if it gets really crazy? And it, and it's uh, 150 miles away. I, I think it's a lot. first time a lot yeah. of people have ever heard of Ridgecrest. Have I you was, ever uh, heard of that place? Yeah, yeah, it's first time. Yeah, it's not good when the first time that someone's heard about you is a 7.1 Boy, uh, earthquake. If, if, if L.A., I'm telling you right now, if L.A. got hit with the 7.1. Oh, they'd be, you'd have 20 be, million people screwed. We'd be done. We'd well, be in the ocean. How many people didn't get water after the earthquake? I, me, I, I still haven't gotten like water. Oh, did yeah, you get an earthquake? Kit? Yeah. Well, I you don't want to rush into these things. <laughs> make rush. I don't really. My my earthquake preparedness thing is uh, get my car keys and drive back to Iowa and say adios, California. <laughs> you leave it. all your uh, Cubs. Well, all your Cubs stuff was. Yeah, get. I guess so. I'll just have to. Bite the bullet on that one. They'll like find your stuff like a, a thousand years from yeah, now. Yeah, I just had the memory, like a fossil. Yeah, I'll just try to. I'll try to save my rally towel, my cup yeah. rally I'll towel. From tell you what, uh, winter in Lacrosse, Wisconsin doesn't uh, seem too bad. Right, right. Uh, when the building is uh, swaying. Oh my gosh, it's just so random. I well, of course it's random. It's an. What if it happened in the middle of the night, like I don't at midnight? Know. Well, that's when the Northridge one did. Yeah. It happened at like four and a, th- three, four. So in that's the a morning. little bit better because it's going to be light, yeah. fairly soon. But man, can you imagine just uh, just all these buildings toppling at we're we're done and all for. the lights. Yeah, we're we yeah we're done for. And the people, you know, and then you know how people were like uh, in Katrina, they're like, well, yeah. why didn't all those people leave? Yeah, why didn't all those people just get out of there? And then, and then, and then people are gonna be like, "Why didn't those twenty million people in Los Angeles get out of there or like have food or anything?" Yeah. Right? And then uh, our president, Sir Trump, he would he would blame it on us somehow, on the people. Yeah, blame it on so, God. Yeah, act of God. Yeah, you people in California. All right. All right. So well, that's Gene, what you get for voting against I, me. I I got uh, I got a bit of a wash bomb here, Gene. Oh, this whoosh, is breaking news. Yeah, he he is so powerful. Whoosh. He's almost whoosh. Well, Janowski, well, Gene, first of all, he must be more powerful than that. Uh, speaking the, of powerful, um, all of these players are basically recruiting each other. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And uh, by the way, no wonder why no one, you know, likes their job and no right. one uh, likes playing with each other. Gene, if you, you know, uh, if you ever like worked with friends um, or you ever like, yes, you know, I gone into business with friends right. or anything, or yeah. maybe when you're a teenager, I got have. a job with a bunch of friends. Yeah. Did you not hate that person like uh, three months down the line, mm, six months down the line? Yeah. Secretly uh, or a roommate. <laughs> you ever go uh, into an apartment with someone? I had this someone? roommate, Greg Blum, and he was my savior back in college. He got me through it. So, yeah. Not, All right. Well, he uh, probably hated you. <laughs> I, you're you're I the Anthony know. Davis. We're in bunk this. mates. We yeah, we shared a bunk bed. That's pretty nice in college. You're in college and you live in a bunk bed. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Uh, anyways. Uh, yeah. So I I don't know. I don't. Maybe I'm old man. Uh, ah, you are. Chris here. No. Yeah. But, uh, what do you got? What do anyways, you uh, breaking news. Oh, I see. What's your? The, oh, this is your. There you uh, go. Breaking news. This is a wash bomb. Okay. The Pacers will have three TJs on their roster next season. TJ Leaf, TJ McConnell, and TJ Warren. Okay. That, yeah. that was that, that was pretty impressive. That is very impressive. Something I'll never yep. think to repeat. Did you know any of those guys? I didn't. I don't know any of them. 
I mean, some of these guys that are getting signed these huge contracts, I didn't even know they were. I, I Forty million yeah. a year for this guy. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, Gene, head of security for the Indiana Pacers. Uh huh. T.J. Hooker. Oh wow. There you go. That's a great show. Did you ever watch that? <laughs> no, no. Speaking of William Shatner. Oh my god. Coming gosh. all the he's way around. He's still going strong. He's. I think he's eighty-six or something. He's getting up there. Uh, but he's still going strong. Gene speaking. Same as Tony Bennett. He's, he's active 92. on Twitter. Yeah. Active well, on seeing, very active on hopefully Twitter. Hopefully Tony Bennett will make it till Wednesday because I'm seeing him at the Hollywood Bowl. So. All right. Good luck, Tony. Please make it here safely. All right. Well, uh, I think that's it, Gene. I think all the uh, we had a lot of fun, a lot of laughs. Thank you, everybody. Oh, look at that. My sister. I had both sisters online here, Dawn and Cindy. Oh, thank you. Love you both. And and then everyone else. I uh, my my oh look at that. I, I mentioned Greg Blum and then there he was. Yeah. Right, amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Great roommate. You couldn't ask for a better roommate in college than him. I'm sure this is the same thing. I don't think so. All right. Oh hopefully okay. maybe it does. All right, well thanks for listening and thanks oh, for watching. This is gonna be a great week, by the way. Yeah. I saw Phantom of the Opera again. I've seen it I saw it twice in three weeks. I saw that uh the July 4th, now it's Rogers and Sheik. I saw uh, Chrissy Hind of The Pretenders, very good. I'm seeing Tony Bennett tomorrow, and then Christian Chenoweth and Paul McCartney. <gasps> Sir Paul McCartney. Sir Paul McCartney. I haven't bought tickets yet, so I'm hoping, because I'm going to buy those and stuff up, I'm hoping the tickets drop a little bit. And then hopefully Rolling Stones too coming up. There you go. Yep. Very exciting life. Very, 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 very exciting. So, yeah. I'll tell you what, we'll end it there. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for watching and listening. It's been the Midwest Sports Show. We'll see you guys next week. Bye, everybody.